You can uh, close your eyes if you wish. Let's take some deep breaths. Let's just breathe in slowly, deeply. Let's just allow uh, God's presence just to just to be here today, to be here to speak to our hearts. And as we uh, begin this meditation, let me read you something that I found that Charles Fillmore had said. And he was talking about the presence of God. He says, quote, you must first enter into the understanding that God, omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient, is the source, and that you can draw on this source without limit. That was from one of his teachings on prosperity. But I believe we can apply that to parts of our lives. So let's breathe. Let's breathe in and uh, let's just imagine our feet as they are on the ground that, that God's presence is everywhere. So let's imagine that God's presence is just coming up through our feet, up through our legs, all the way up through our bodies. Let's just imagine that. Think about that for a little bit here. Let's just visualize this God's presence in our life right now. And as we visualize this, we see this presence of God just coming up through our bodies, all the way up to our heart. Let's breathe that in. Let's just breathe in God's spirit into our hearts. Let's breathe that in. And as we see his spirit just circling around in our hearts, causing our physical hearts to pump the blood through our whole body. Let's see God's spirit now just traveling out from our hearts into our arms, all the way up to our fingertips. Let's see that. Let's visualize that. circulates through our legs and feet out to the very tips of our toes. Let's see this God, just the spirit just circulating through the rest of our bodies. Up into our shoulders. Let's see this happen. Let's see healing just taking place 
carbides and so that blood circulates to every part. Let's see our bodies just functioning properly. Let's see the, as they say, the homeostasis of our bodies just balancing. Let's see that balance. Even as we have balance in our spirituality, we have balance in our bodies. I think that was meant to be. Because when we have balance, our bodies function properly. And when we have balance in our spirituality, we see us spiritually as God meant us to be functioning in this love. Functioning in all parts of that spiritual growth. Spiritual growth of forgiveness. Spiritual growth of, of balance in all that we do spiritually. Let me read this here from the Daily Word. It is from March, but it's okay. It says that forgiveness could be difficult, <coughs> especially in the presence of pain. I mean, I understand the importance of forgiveness and still struggle to forgive. Good Friday, I think, of Jesus asking his tormentors to be forgiven, even as he was being crucified. Even in his pain, he knew the value of forgiveness and believed those who were killing him deserved forgiveness. Let's just think about that for a moment. Let's just see and believe and know that Jesus actually forgave these people. I think that it could be a lesson for us all, including myself. So let's continue the breath. Let's breathe slowly, deeply. Let's see this blood just continuing to circulate through our bodies, up through our neck, into our very brain, up to the very tops of our, very top of our head see this blood circulating. Let's see God in there, in that circulation. Let's visualize this. Let's see God. Let's see what he would think to do. What he would observe. I kind of think that Jesus observed when he was here on earth. Instead of judging, I think he observed. So let's observe ourselves. Let's see ourselves functioning as a spiritual individual, physically with excellent health, Let's see that. Let's see that happen. So continue.
continue the breath through this meditation. Let's see where it takes us. Thank you.